Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022, and uh, I am happy to see everybody. It is the day before the Messiah Complex expansion release. Really can't wait to look at what all that has in store for us tomorrow. But for now, we have another MCU game to play. Speaking of expansions, this one is based on 2016's Doctor Strange. Yes, we were already there in the order of MCU games. And unfortunately for this specific setup, that expansion is not out yet. So what we're going to have to do, and I'm sure Off the Cuff will adjust it, is we're going to play it as uh, Off the Cuff uh, beautifully designed today based on what we have. And then sometime in the future, if this is altered with the Doctor Strange expansion, I'll play it again. But I think he did a really good job putting it together with what we had. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been... I, I probably, off the cuff, would have delayed it until tomorrow if that was actually the case. I would have done it Wednesday night, but uh, whatever. Uh, I really love the setup you put together today, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, let me start the predictions early before I forget. Is anybody, uh, anybody think they're going to be able to get their hands on uh, Messiah Complex tomorrow? I'm certainly going to try because I'd love to do an overview for you guys. And I think it'll happen. The store I go to usually has, usually has the new stuff the day of. So we'll see. Okay, predictions are up. Here is the setup today. So the scheme is portals to the dark dimension from core. Destroying the sanctums opens the portals. The mastermind Friday. Awesome. That's pretty soon. Uh, the Mastermind is the Hood. Tactic literally mentions how he's serving Dormammu. What? No, those aren't guns. It's magic. Shut up. I loved... Uh, I enjoyed the Hood's arc in... Um, it was kind of around the... Uh, not not Fear itself. It was kind of around the Dark Reign a little bit before that. Civil War-ish time. Uh, and I get his old relation to the Dark Dimension, so that's cool. Aspects of the Void. So much of these are just the Dark Dimension. And then Hood's Gang. Least of all, this literal Dark Dimension card in there. And the rest are probably going to be uh, Kaecilius' group. And then we've got Konshu Guardians from Secret Wars Volume 2. You say Wolf Form, I say the Mirror Dimension, so that's what I'm going to say. And then we have our Doctor Strange analogs asterisk. We've got Doctor Strange from Secret Wars Volume 1. We've got Venomized Doctor Strange. We've got Legion. And we've got Doctor Punisher. And then we have Moon Dragon here as the Ancient One. And I think that's going to work well. We've got all the support cards you see here. No regular sidekicks. We have new recruits today, which is, I think it's a first. Can't be confident, though. But uh, let's get this thing together. This is uploaded. If you'd like to look at it at any time, we'll do our overview. So our mastermind is the Hood. In for Legion is actually Mordo. Got it. Okay, Baron Mordo until the bill comes due at the end. Um, so the mastermind, I guess he's going to be a combination of Kaecilius and maybe a little bit of Dormammu. Uh, anyway, he's got Dark Memories. So Dark Memories, let's uh, remind ourselves what that one does. It has to do with colors in your discard pile. I think he gets plus one attack for each different color in your discard pile. I think that's what that is. Anyway, he always uh, leads Hood's gang, so today that's fine. Yep, plus one for each hero class among cards in your discard pile. Class, not color. Master Strike, each player reveals all the uh, each player reveals the top six cards of their deck, discards all the non-gray heroes revealed, then puts the rest back in any order. I got to recruit a lot of things because he's going to really make me discard those. Uh, nine attack to hit him, of course. And Portals of the Dark Dimension is such a simple scheme, I don't have to track it because the game tracks it for me. Setup is seven twists. Each twist is a dark portal. Twist 1, put the Dark Portal above the Mastermind. The Mastermind gets plus 1 attack. Twist 2 to 6, put the Dark por Portal in the leftmost city space. It doesn't already have a Dark Portal. Villains in that city space get plus 1. And Twist 7 is the end of the game, Evil Wins. So we're just going to be keeping track of the scheme twist played. There is an Evil Wins condition on that. Okay. How do you think I'm going to do? I have no idea how these characters will synergize together. I didn't look at it too much. I'd like to figure it out as I go. There's a couple of things that don't work well together, but uh, as I get our starting hands ready, we'll find that out. So, those of you who've seen the final preview for Messiah Complex, what do you think of the veiled and unveiled schemes? I look forward to finding out what all four of them are, or eight of them are. It kind of inspired that uh, mashup bot that I was testing out today. What am I doing this for? I don't need to do that with this deck. Um, and it'll be interesting if there's ever more in the future. It really changes things up when it comes to the schemes. Excited to have to wait potentially a month for a period ship. Well, that's a bummer, but I hope, you know, it does get to you. I mean, uh, it was supposed to come out, I want to say, it was the fall release last year. So it's delayed by a good four or five months. What's another month? Although I, it's frustrating when other people are getting it. 
Uh, Black Widow would be a great one for them to do that with if uh, those masterminds are schemy enough. But X-Men is perfect, I think, for that. And I said, I want to try one of those with Apocalypse. For some reason, I feel like Apocalypse would be doing that level of scheming. Uh, okay, uh, that is it for the setup. So let's go ahead and get the predictions done. If you just got here, make sure you put your predictions in. I'll give you guys another minute to do that while I talk about this week. This week we have tomorrow, like I said, is Maasai Complex's release. And if everything goes well, I should be getting a copy tomorrow. I'll be doing an unboxing and overview video for everybody. And then when I'm done uploading that, I should have time to do a impromptu stream Wednesday night of Maasai Complex. Hopefully get through a couple of games. Thursday is going to be the regular randomizer stream, followed by the hero drop for the viewers play game cosmic versus street so if you are on one of those teams and you can make it to the hero draft that would be great so you can help your team in the chat if you don't know what i'm talking about and you are a twitch subscriber or you are a hero or villain of the chat go to the discord go to viewers play pick a team and you can still participate and uh saturday i think is going to be a viewers cha uh, viewer challenges i'm pretty sure um, i'd like to do more messiah complex for anybody who wants to submit those challenges but there's a ton of challenges i have to get to anyway all right let's go ahead and end the predictions it is four to two win with most of the points going towards a win so let's uh lock that in starting hq before the dark dimension starts to enter our realm we've got uh venomized doctor strange uncommon Venomized Doctor Strange Common, Doctor Punisher Common, Doctor Strange Common, and Doctor Punisher Common. All right, so it's full of Doctor Strange, kind of. I mean, he's in these cards. Pretty appropriate starting hand. Let's place everybody and get this going. Mastermind, there he is. Okay. Here we go, let's try to make sure the Dark Dimension does not encroach on this realm. Let's see if it can play out just like the movie did. Here we go. Alright, that was weird. <laughs> Toby's willing to do that. We got a 5 and 2. First card from the villain deck is... Scheme Twist! Okay. So that is Portals of the Dark Dimension. The first Dark Portal enters. First card is a twist, of course. This goes above the Mastermind, so the Mastermind Caecilius is starting to open up the portals to the Dark Dimension. So now the Mastermind gets plus one for the rest of the game. So we're going to go ahead and put this here in the Mastermind space. Plus one for him. Awesome. Couldn't even hit him first. Five Recruit. And we have our choice of he just stolen the spell. Perfect. Did that happen in the, uh, not the cold open, but the intro of the movie? I think that's how it started, right? Before you meet Doctor Strange. Before you meet Stephen Strange. If I recall correctly. Alright, uh, we got a couple of options. First thing that happened, that's what I thought. I, uh, we did tier list in the chat recently, and I said, Doctor Strange is an A-tier movie for me. I really liked it. It seemed to be pretty polarizing, but, uh, it's one of those movies I can watch over and over. Uh... It's straightforward, self-contained, got a lot of magic and cool stuff to look at, and I like the story, and it sets up the character of Doctor Strange, who has now become extremely important in the MCU. I love it. All right, so Cauldron of the Cosmos is a one-recruit digest, two-card, draw a card, so I have to have two cards in my victory pile to make this work. And if I, I do, I can just use it to get one recruit and a card draw each turn, but I'm not quite there yet. We've got uh, Sweep the Streets of Trash, one recruit also patrol the streets if it's empty, draw a card. Uh, dark portals do not count as it being occupied. So this would work now. We've also got the Cloak of Levitation, which I think I'm going to have to go for to attack and then range over the top card of your deck, draw it or teleport it by the Hori Host of Hogoth. Uh, yeah, no recruit on this one. But it will let me take out some early things, and then once again we have another Super Streets of Trash. So, depends on what I want to do. I could take both Sweep the Streets of Trash first and then try to get the Cloak of Levitation, but because I have three, uh, five Recruit in my hand this turn, I'm only going to have three the next turn. But as long as I can keep the Streets clear early, taking the Sweep the Streets early will be great because it'll take a while for this to fill up, giving me enough time to recruit some higher powered stuff. So I'm going to actually take the two two costs, Sweep the Streets of Trash, at least this first one. We'll see what comes up. 
far as doing different decks, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Oh, we got our first uh, Doctor Strange slash Legion card. Doing more spells at Kamartaj, Ben Steel, and Ben Light. One plus attack and berserk, and one plus recruit light show, you get plus two recruit. All right, so because we have light show Legion, I'm probably going to want to keep those all together. So maybe that's going to go on the other side. And uh, I'll go with the original plan, take the second uh, Doctor Punisher. Mr. Doctor. All right, we got C future timelines, more range. Left side is going to be a big range side, I think. Range, teleporting, drawing, all that good stuff. Why did I do that? It's only six cards. Okay, it's another four and two. Well, no, another, the first one in this game. Okay, our first strike. Oh, that's who it sounded is. It's Dormammu. I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Dormammu's laughing from the dark dimension. Okay, uh, that's a twist. We need a strike. What am I doing? From the Dark Dimension opening, each player reveals the top six cards of their deck, discards all the non-gray heroes revealed, and puts the rest back in any order. Well, that's going to be different from both sides. Right-hand side has six gray cards. Left side is going to have to discard their, or shuffle their discard pile, which is a bummer. But it won't delay it that much, because I still have to reshuffle. But I'll get two less chances. So... Shuffling the discard on the left-hand side. Top six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I got both of the non-grays. So both Dr. Punishers get discarded. Um, the rest go back then. Unfortunately, the next hand... I won't get a reshuffle. next hand is going to be all gray. It cost me a turn there. Hopefully the streets don't fill up by then. But it said any order. So do I care what order they go back in? Um... I'll put the trooper on the bottom. Just in case. Okay, uh, with four recruit. I'm going to leave all the blues to the left because even the C feature timelines card that came up is a ranged trigger. They'll all work well on each other. Uh, let's take the Legion card, the divided card. Hopefully get more light show and berserk and then see what else fits into this archetype. For two. Alright, nothing else I want here. I want all these on the left. I mean, Colony of the Cosmos is, isn't bad no matter where you put it, but until I can digest two, it's just a one recruit card. And that's not going to happen for a bit, so let's go with a... Uh... But a new recruit doesn't get me anything except for attacking a draw. So let's see. Oh, you know, Colony of the Cosmos is a common... It will work eventually, and it will give me one more recruit. It's a little better than a shield agent eventually. So, to move things along in the HQ, let me take it. Even though it's just a two cost and it's a range. Okay, we got our first You're a Slow Learner, which is tech. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it, and you get plus one. A tech trigger, huh? With KO power. Might have to take that on the left as well. The trigger with the Dr. Punishers I've already taken. Again, six cards. I don't know how I feel about how this is starting. We got a strike and a twist. Hopefully I see a henchman because I could fight it this turn. Alright, nope, it's another strike. <laughs> or twist. Ah, these dark portals aren't wasting time. Okay, second dark portal. This one goes into the bridge, so anybody in the bridge gets plus one. That's wonderful. Give a little marker here. Plus one for anybody who is here. It is not a villain itself. It is just a marker of the Dark Dimension starting to open. Cool. Again, it's a timer scheme, so when it's over, it's over. Three recruit. Now, I took the two-cost card that I could have taken, so that was smart of me. And I can't take anything else because it's all too expensive. So, because of that, I'm going to go with a shield officer, which is going to be a standard officer in this game. And we'll just have to move on. Here's my uh, hand of six, a new hand of six, without the non-grace. I am being slowed down quickly, early. Turn four is... Oh, you got to be kidding me. What a shuffle. What a shuffle this is today. All right, that's twist number uh, three. The streets become a dark dimension portal. A dark portal. And there's not much I can do about it. At least this does not count for the streets being full. 
It's given me the most amount of time possible to prepare, but I'm not doing a very good job. Four recruit. Too bad it's not a. It's a. You know, I lose when I lose. I can't. I can't really control. <laughs> I can't control anything here. Four recruit on the right hand. So let's look at my options. I've got the cloak of levitation. I've also got see future timelines, which is a range trigger uh, to discard a card if it costs zero, get plus two attack. Which works if I don't use it with you're a slow learner. Because that's going to KO cards that cost zero. Um, Legion has a tech card. Left side is going for ranged. And if I take C future timelines on the left, it works better if there's zero cost cards. I can do multiples and I can uh, mill away the zero cost. So let's recruit Euro Slow Learner on the right hand side, hoping to get to see Legion's tech cards and those work well together. We'll keep the range for the left. All right, there's Ice Magic. More ranged, more ranged stuff. I guess when you think about it, Doctor Strange is... Well, I guess you can't spell Doctor Strange without range. Or ranged. But most of his abilities offensively are ranged. You know, he's not directly doing physical damage to you. He's throwing you in a portal or throwing illusions at you. Those are all be ranged. That makes sense to me. He's a wizard after all. Okay. What is up? What's up, board game spam? Thank you for the raid. You're welcoming a raid in the clip when you raided me. <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you guys for coming by. We're playing a setup based on 2016's Doctor Strange. I have not pulled any villains. Thank you guys for the follow. Really appreciate it. Um, I have pulled no villains. I've pulled three portals or three dark dimensions, three scheme twists, and a master strike. We're trying to win this thing. Thank you for the follow, board game spam. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is in a long series of MCU-themed games. This is number 26 or something like that. And uh, this is the setup today. It's uploaded if you do, do command setup. By the way, if, you wanna, if you're new to the channel, tomorrow is a big day for Legendary. There is a new expansion coming out, which doesn't happen that often. It is a 200-card box, the biggest we get right now. X-Men Messiah Complex expansion. I'm going to be doing uh, a video on it and streaming it tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, you like X-Men, you like Messiah Complex, X-Factor X Factor Investigations, uh, Multiple Man, etc. Come on back here. It should be a good time. All right. Here is my new hand. I got five recruit. Next card from the villain deck is my first henchman. Thank goodness. Konshu Guardians. All right. Well, in the sewers, rooftops, or bridge. This is in wolf form and gets plus two attack. Fight KO one of your heroes. So if I can take them out while they're in the sewers, that would be great. Unfortunately, I don't have the attack I need to do that this turn. So they're probably going to power up, and such is my luck. I've got five recruit, one attack that I'm not going to play because it won't do anything. However, this is the left side with five recruit, so I can take one of these four costs. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, allergies today. Um, they're in the mirror dimension. So the bank in the streets are the mirror dimension. Sorry, bad cold today. Okay, we've got see future timelines. Uh, yes, this is the one that uh, lets me mill away zero cost cards, get attack. If there's zero cost on the top, we've also got cloak of levitation. Oh, it looks so good. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, Legends, you can see I did four preview videos on it. Upper Deck released a bunch of blogs, and I did preview videos on each one. The mechanics look absolutely... I, I was about to say game-breaking, but not game-breaking because the game is designed so well it doesn't actually break the game, but it's out there, and I can't wait to give that a try tomorrow. So check that out. Anyway, Cloak of Levitation has uh, ranged. Reveal the top card of your deck. Draw it or teleport it. Works with see future timelines because I could... Uh, well, actually, it depends. If I do see future timelines, I don't get a zero cost. Then I can do Cloak of Levitation. But I'm going to have to change change them properly. We didn't look at Ice Magic yet, by the way. Thank you, Mikey. There's a lot of talking in a Doctor Strange game. Ice Magic is two attack or villain top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain, you may fight it this turn. Range, range. You can attack equal to that... Villains printed victory points. That would be great early. What's going to help me? The earliest. I have a lot of zero cost cards. So I'm going to go with see future timelines for four before it's too late. And then we're replaced with um, a legion. Okay, this is a tech legion for the right hand side. By the way, in case you're wondering, I am playing this game two handed solo, which is literally the exact same way as playing. A two-player game, except I'm one person. I have a hand over here on the left, hand over here on the right, and I like that that allows me to put more cards in the hero deck. I get to see more heroes in a game, more villains in a game, and I get to build two different strategies at the same time. Uh, it's a little more of an advanced way to play, but if you've played a lot, it's uh, there's nothing that beats it. I enjoy solo mode enough, but two-handed solo. 
is my favorite. Okay, new hand. And if anybody's watching this and doesn't know what this game is and is interested, this is the legendary Marvel deck building game. A game where you recruit Marvel heroes and you build up your deck over time. Fight Marvel bad guys and their schemes. The great thing about this game is how variable it is. There are a ton of expansions. You can randomize your setups and you won't play the same setup twice ever again in your life if you don't want to and still have fun with this game playing, playing, <laughs> playing setups. That's what I love about it. All right, another one. So... More guardians in the mirror dimension. These ones move into the mirror dimension. I need a little mirror effect for that. Uh, they get plus two. The ones here are not in the mirror dimension yet. So luckily, I can. Looks like I can fight the ones not yet in the mirror dimension. Let's see how this works. Uh, let's start with uh, Collision of the Cosmos. Digest two means if you have two cards in your victory pile, you can do this thing. I don't have any cards in my victory pile. Even if I fight one of these guardians, that'll just be one card. So I might as well play this first. Yeah, exactly. No, um, and I still play solo from time to time. Uh, there's a great website, legendaryleagues.com, where they do solo leagues, and I, I do those for, for the competitive aspect because they're fun. But I did, I was jumping through regular solo, advanced solo, golden solo, but once I locked into two handed, I didn't go back uh, for a regular basis. So all my streams are two handed solo. So let's just get the one recruit from Cauldron of the Cosmos. We'll get our two more attack from our troopers, and we'll get two more recruit from our agents, followed by. Legion. Now, Legion is a divided card, so I get to pick which side I get to use. Do I want one attack and Berserk, which means I can mill a card and get its attack value? Or do I pick the one recruit and Light Show? I can't do Light Show. Light Show means you need to have more than one Light Show card. So either I'm going to get four recruit and two attack, or at least three attack and three recruit. I need the three attack to fight the henchmen, so let's go ahead and take the Ben Steel side and Berserk. That's one more attack. Do I have it backwards? What's well, the mirror dimension, so it should be backwards. Yep, I totally do. Doesn't really change anything except for the fact that I'm going to fight a different one. It would be funny if I did do it backwards because it is the mirror dimension in this game. Um, that's Berserk. Top card of my deck is a card with no attack symbol, so I don't get attack on that. <laughs> the things you don't notice. See, it's easy not to notice these things. Uh, but what would I do without Mr. Giraffe? All right. I'm not happy. No. You wouldn't be seeing this as clearly, for one thing. All right, well, let's fight the one who's actually not in the mirror dimension. This one. Fight, KO one of your heroes. Let's go ahead and KO a shield agent by doing this. And get rid of the Konshu Guardians, who are actually... I guess they're Dormammu's Guardians? Kaecilius' group? Whatever. All right, uh, three recruit. This is the side I want tech, so I do not want ice magic, and everything else is too expensive. So let's go ahead on this side and also get a shield officer. Oh, the next card in my deck is Fitzsimmons. That would be great, but I can't use them in this game, so I just have to take a regular regular shield officer. They weren't in Doctor Strange, at least not from where we could see. I have uh, acquaintances who are theater folks, so I understand how draining those tech rehearsals can be, so I totally empathize with you. At least, uh, hopefully it'll be fun, and then you can rest at the end of it after, you know, after everything. All right. Turn number seven. Is it another twist? Nope. It is a member of Kaecilius' group that I do not know. But the card is Madame Mask. Dark Memories. Once again, plus one attack for each class of card in my discard pile. By the way, I'm not keeping track of Dark Memories here yet. Once I get ten attack to hit the hood or Kaecilius, I'll keep track of it. Okay. We have an ambush effect. Yeah, it's all about the show, so you you you, know, you don't mind being super tired when uh, it's for the show and it's fun. An ambush, guess villain, bystander, striker, twist, and reveal the top card of the villain deck. If you guess wrong, play that card. I don't know that one. Which one is that? Um, let's see. What should I guess? So I've played three strikes. There are seven in the deck. I've played one or three twists, one strike. I've played. Most of them are going to be villains, so, and there's there's two bystanders in there, but uh, there's more villains than anything else, so I'm going to guess villain. I hope I don't have to play a twist. Okay, it's a villain, so I got it right. Oh, interesting. Oh, I got to check that out. That actually sounds really interesting to me. I'll go take a look. I love retellings and stuff like that. Uh, okay, uh, so the top card doesn't get played, and we got uh, Cancer coming into the city next turn. By the way, he has an ambush effect. And each player that has any cards in their discard pile gains a wound. 
Can I control for that? No, I can't. Well, no longer in the mirror dimension. They leave. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Looks interesting. So, let's start with uh, sweep the streets of trash when recruit patrol the streets. If it's empty, the streets are empty. There's a big old dark portal in there, but nobody's in the dark portal. So it is empty. Draw a card. And I get see future timelines. Cool. Let's keep this chain going. See future timelines. Two attack. Range trigger activates for the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, discard it and you get plus two attack. Okay, I will do so. Sweet. Thank you. I'll check that out. Two more attack for discarding that. We've got uh, two more attack from our troopers. Six attack. Can I fight Madame Mask? I think I can. Uh, I sound like the little engine that could. Four recruit. Additional. So I have five recruit and six attack. So the Madame Mask card does have dark memories, but again, the only card in my discard is a tech or not tech card, a gray card. So there aren't any classes in there. So I'm going to go ahead and fight her for five of my six. And then I will KO one of my heroes being this agent here. Because I did get an officer. Okay, with five recruit, I don't want to take this Legion card. That's better for the other side with tech and light show effects. Uh, well, drawing card effects. Um, I think I'm going to take either Cloak of Levitation or see future timelines. Go to the top card of your deck, draw or teleport it. Two attack and drawing a card is nice, and I almost will always trigger this. I already have one see future timelines. I do have a lot of zero cost cards, but I did just KO a couple. Let's go ahead and with the, uh, take the cloak. Okay, we've got another Legion. All right, uh, Legion's gonna help Legion out with piercing energy and everything else. We'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll say that that is uh, Doctor Strange's darker side, and that's gonna be away from his uh, more heroic side on the left. Okay, no way to avoid this ambush effect. So I'm just going to have to eat that. Which is Cancer's Ambush Effect. Each player that has any cards in the discard pile gains a wound. Both sides have discard piles. So both sides gain wounds. Which are going to be, hopefully, standard. Legion is Mordo. Thank you. Well, who is Legion? Who is Mordo but Doctor Strange's darker side? Kind of. If the bill comes due. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The next movie's coming back, right? All right, two standard wounds. I'm trying to talk my way into for not forgetting. Okay, so Baron Mortal on the right-hand side, Doctor Strange on the left. We have not seen the Ancient One yet, and I think I'm on track with my definitions. So Legendary is a hard game to keep track of on top of substituting heroes for other characters, but I'm, I'm doing my best. Okay, we've got uh, four attack, three recruit. Um, the bank is not the Mirror Dimension. It's the sewers, rooftops, or bridge. He's got dark memories in my discard pile. I have a... Ooh, this is hurting me. The, the, the divided card is all classes. So that's uh, range, covert, strength. So Cancer's at six right now, thanks to dark memories. So I can't even fight him. Let's go ahead and fight the Guardians. Once again, for three in the mirror dimension. And I will KO an agent over here as well. And let's move on. Okay, right side has two cards now. I need the left side to have two cards in the victory pile. Uh, we've got uh, three recruit. I can take this Baron Mordo. Ha, see, I remembered this time. It is a split personality and split eardrum. So piercing energy is a cool mechanic, case anybody doesn't know. Instead of fighting a villain for their attack value, you can fight them for their victory point value, which... For example, gets through all fight restrictions. I could fight Cancer right now for two, a two attack or two piercing energy if I had this. So that's a great card that I will take. Baron Mordo. Doing what he wished he didn't have to do and using some more dark magic. Over there. Okie doke. So, by the way, in case you didn't see the scheme, it's Portals of the Dark Dimension. On twist number seven, I just lose. This is what we call a timer scheme where... There is a point where you can run out of time and there's nothing you can do. So I have to try to win quick. I have to hit the Mastermind for 10 plus Dark Memories sooner than later. But if I get enough Piercing Energy, if I get two more, I can hit him for six Piercing Energy no matter how much boosted attack he has. So that's not likely since it's only one hero in this set, in this hero deck. But I'll do my best. Okay, a lot of, <laughs> almost no attack here. 
uh, loses dark memories for now and another one so more guardians these ones in the mirror dimension so with dark memories I've got blue black that's it so plus two plus two here so he's at a five and then we have our guardians in the mirror dimension at five as well which is rough because I don't have any attack except for the one four uh, three recruit actually let's play our sweep the streets of trash because again the streets are technically empty so I'll draw the card that'll let me win everything it's a shield agent well that does give me a six total recruit let's look at this card that's been sitting under the bridge the whole time it is complete the grand ritual so complete the grand ritual is four plus attack if you played a four cost card and a two cost card this turn you get plus two attack now this one if I look at my discard pile I have two cost cards and I have a four cost Ooh, I have four cost and two cost so I have cloak see each timelines I've got uh, sweep the streets I have another sweep the streets that I've played I have two fours two twos and I've got sidekicks I can take so even though it's not ranged this is great and I think I'll be able to trigger it so let's go ahead and take complete the grand ritual for six right side has more legion cards that don't have as many of those matched costs so this is the side to take it let's just hope it's in time that card can help me win this game because if I do that right that six attack by itself the mastermind is gonna be at the least ten if these villains get here they're gonna be stronger in the dark portals give me a good combo oh, I got a couple of ranged Okay, turn 10. It is uh, our first aspect of the Dark Dimension. Shadow Man, fight, you get plus two recruit. And guess what? It is also five attack. However, out of the Mirror Dimension and no discard pile. So, the downside is I can't digest two. I only have one. Actually, the right hand. Oh, the right hand is where I defeated the Guardians last time. So, the right hand does have two cards. Yep. I got two guardians in my right hand victory pile so I can digest let's hope it gives you one more attack one recruit I digest two hey Matt and I draw a card it is an agent not gonna help me unfortunately so I'm gonna get end up with villains in the dark dimension in the dark portal anyway I got two attack and a wound that's hurting me that could have been an attack all right what do I take? I can't take the Baron Mordo card, so I'm probably going to take the You're a Slow Learner. More KO power, more tech, more awesome. Glad you're feeling better. Um, okay, that's it. That's all I can do, so I might be in big trouble. Because now these villains are going to push through the dark portals and power up. Left hand side can't really do much in the way of stopping that. Okay, what do we have? It is another henchman. So, here's what happens. Let me push these up a little bit. So, in the first dark portal is Cancer who gets plus one from the, you know what? Dark portal gets dark portal counters. One plus attack for the dark portal. Now eh, let's put it down here, it's fine. And then everybody moves down. Both of these are in the mirror dimension. And uh, that is cool. And for Dark Memories, I don't have a discard pile. So uh, no plus attack for him. I do have three attack. Let's see how much I can draw. One recruit. Streets are no longer empty. So I can't do this. And I want to play this before I play Cloak Levitation. So uh, I'm going to do this now. I'll play it for one recruit. I will play the Cloak of Levitation for two attack. Reveal the top card of your deck. It is, oh, come on. I could draw this now, which would give me four recruit and I can take see future timelines, which I might as well do. I'll draw it instead of teleporting it. But I do have one more attack. So unfortunately, that's not enough to hit anything. Nothing. We got five, five, five and four thanks to the dark portal. So that hurts. I got, actually, hold on. I already have one recruit, so I don't need five. So you know what? I'm actually going to teleport this uh, agent instead because I only need four recruits. So teleport to my next hand, which means add it as an extra card to your next hand. And I'll play the three other agents. I'm at four recruit, which is all I need to 
take the other Sea Future timelines right now. But unfortunately, that is it, and I can't attack anything. Ooh, we have our first rare. So Baron Mordo's rare appears. Malister of Clashing Powers. 3 plus attack. Soaring Flight, which means when you recruit this, it goes to your next hand as an extra card, I believe. Reveal the top three cards of the hero deck. You get their total attack, printed attack. Put them on the bottom of the hero deck. Well, are we going to have a full city next turn? My guess is either that or another twist comes out and it's Dark Portal on the rooftops. Actually, it's not a guess. That's almost anything that could happen except for a striker or a bystander. But yeah, there's three attack, there's nothing. Teleported. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got at least four attack there. Which would have been enough this turn, but this is the next turn. Okay. Turn 12. How badly is this going to hurt my game? Okay. Interesting. It is the first trap of the Dark Dimension, Psychotic Break. Ambush. Play another card from the villain deck. What's up? Thank you for the first time chat. Welcome, welcome. All right. Ambush. Play another card from the villain deck. Thank you for the host as well. If you're new to Legendary or have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm happy to answer. It's a great game. I love it. If more people more people play it, everybody should play it. All right. Uh, play another card from the villain deck is the ambush effect, so I will do that. And it is another guardian. So let's move everybody down. Um, so. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Over here. That must be the psychotic break that Strange gets when the Ancient One sends him on that trip. Ooh, I love that scene. But yes, I think I think I saw this in 3D and it did not disappoint. All right, Mirror Dimension, Mirror Dimension, Mirror Dimension, nothing for this one, except this one gets plus one for the Dark Dimension. So Cancer is at four, plus Dark uh, dark Memories. The Guardians are at four. Shadow Man's at five, this Guardian's at three, and this one's at five for being in the Mirror Dimension. All right, continuing with the trap. I end up turn to beat a villain which I can do this turn, or Psychotic Break becomes a Master Strike that takes effect immediately. So I'm going to avoid this. So the way to play uh, to uh, get rid of a trap is by meeting the condition before the turn is over, and I will do that. Let's start with the Trooper for one attack. We've got uh, your Slow Learner for two more attack. I need four attack if I want to fight one of these that are a little stronger. But as far as recruit, I have one, two, three, four recruit. Now, what I could do is this. Here's the uh, Baron Mordo card. I could take one attack and hit Cancer here or this Guardian. I'll do my best. Thank you so much for the setups and the guidance here. And uh, break a leg on your uh, tech rehearsal and uh, with the show as well. Okay, uh, so if I take one recruit, I won't get anything from Light Show because I don't have another Light Show card. However, that will give me five recruit enough for this... Baron Mortal card, which is draw two cards or get one attack for each different hero class in your discard pile, which, by the way, is Proto Dark Memories. One plus attack for each different class. So, it actually, this has Dark Memories without having Dark Memories. Um, so, I'm going to take the Recruit side for five total Recruit. We'll fulfill the trap by fighting the Guardians here in the bank for three. And they're sideways. Great. They're not in the Mirror Dimension, so I KO one of my heroes. Another Agent is gone. And then the Guardians are gone. And the trap has been... Uh, the trap has been... How do I say this? Passed? Fulfilled? Avoided? Anyway, uh, this goes to my victory pile. Because I defeated a villain. For 5 recruit, I can also take this Baron Myrtle Divided card. And it's going to give me some good stuff. Okay. Replaced with... Another Doctor Strange's... Cloak of Levitation. All right. I staved off an escape just barely. And I got some Piercing Energy, so that's good. I can hit anything I want in the city except for the Shadow Man with Piercing Energy 2. But I can also get the option of two attack if I want. A card that has Piercing Energy on one side and attack on the other is pretty cool. It helps you in any situation you want to fight in because you could be up against a villain that becomes a hero or something like an Infinity Gem that has no victory point value that you cannot use Piercing Energy on. Um, Matt, it's going to be a YouTube upload because it's going to be tied into the overview. So my plan is to get the expansion as early as I can, 
rush back and do the complete video, upload it immediately, and then after that I'll do a live stream of a game. Sound good? Turn 13. Running out of cards in the villain deck. It's uh, the black anti-hurricane part of the Dark Dimension. Fight. Each player simultaneously puts a card from their discard pile into the discard pile of the player on their right. Escape. Same effect. That would be a fun one for the uh, viewers play, but it would just probably swap over to uh, <laughs> probably swap over to uh, agents or something. All right. Mirror Dimension. Nope. Not. Mirror Dimension is these three spaces. So cool. That's good for me. Let's see what I've got. Three recruit. This is simple. Three recruit. Four attack. And thank you for everybody here who is watching. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoy watching this as much as I enjoy playing it, which is a tall order, but I do my best to try to make it entertaining for you guys and interactive somewhat. All right, I have four attacks, so I can hit anything in the city except for these two Shadows of the Void or Aspects of the Dark Dimension. What should I hit? Oh, let's see. He has Dark Memories, and on my discard pile, I do have a ranged, a tech, ranged and tech. So he's actually... <laughs> Appreciate you back. All right. So he's at five attacks, so he's out of reach. I should probably hit the Guardians here. The one in the Dark Portal. Because I, I might as well. Doesn't not going to give me anything extra. It's just harder to hit. Let me look at my recruits. Uh, I can take Ice Magic for the first time. I only have three recruit. Two plus attack. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. Okay, I got range, so I'll be able to get plus attack into the vill villain's printed victory points. There's plenty of villains left. Now, note this will not work for traps, because traps are not villains. But I will take Ice Magic for three. Uh, let's fight. Let's see if I fight. Here, Here's the deal. If I fight this Guardian, that gives room for this one to move over and get plus two attack. If I fight this Guardian... The next thing that comes in will not increase this one's attack. So, even though I can afford to, I'm going to fight the one in the bank before it gets into the Dark Dimension. Alright. Uh, for three attack. K1 of your heroes once again. I get another agent. Has to go. I'm hurting my chances of getting rares later. But I'll take it. I'm thinning the deck. I have a lot of good ranged Doctor Strange cards. And there's a couple of them right now. Give me one more. Okay, so for complete the Grand Ritual, I need a card that costs four to come up right now. So let's see if I can do that. Top card is? Nope, didn't do it. Maybe I can empty the streets by that time and the other Doctor Strange can open or <laughs> draw a card that costs four. Piercing energy, all right. We're gonna pierce something this turn. Okay, we've got Chemistro, who is another follower of Kaecilius. Dark Memories. Fight, exchange a card. You play this turn with a card in the HQ that has the same or lower cost. So we're about midway through the movie right now where Doctor Strange and Caecilius and his goons are fighting in the Dark Dimension. I think. That's where we're at. Uh, no discard pile, so no dark memories for any of these guys. Let's see what I got. I have two attack, and I have four recruit. So again, with the Baron Mortal card, I can either get a two more attack for a total of four attack, or I can get two Piercing Energy. Now, for two Piercing Energy, I can hit uh, Cancer. I can get through all his restrictions. But I could also do that with four attack right now, so it doesn't matter. Um, but for two Piercing Energy, I've only had another Guardian. I could have hit two Guardians. So honestly, right now, I don't think it matters. However, if I fought Chemistro, let me look at him. Exchange a card. You play this turn with a card in HQ that has the same or lower cost. I could swap my shield officer for a, for a legion slash mortal card. And then we have an officer in the HQ. Which would be funny. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll have four recruit to recruit uh, something else that might... Well, I can take the officer back. I don't want anything else here. Yeah, you know, that'll be fun. Let's do it. Uh, let's fight Chemistro. Let's play the uh, attack split personality side instead of the piercing energy side. We'll fight Chemistro right now. Declare the four attack. Exchange a card you played this turn. The shield officer. With a card in the HQ that has the same or lower cost. 
And this card goes to your discard pile as a gained card. That's interesting. We got a shield officer in the HQ, everybody. And uh, I have four recruit left. Should I take her back? These three I don't want on the right-hand side because I don't have as much range as I do on the left. I still want Legion. I'm going to recruit her back. I recruit the officer. Well, I could get a regular officer. But why would I do that? I want to clear up the HQ space. We'll take her back. Couldn't stay away. All right, we got another Cauldron of the Cosmos. That's the one that is one recruit, digest two, draw a card. A great, a safe time to get that. We're late enough in the game that uh, that's going to be almost always happening. Actually, always happening unless something really bad happens to my victory pile. I don't know what that could be. There's some situations where cards can leave your victory pile. A lot of situ situations, actually, but this is not one of them. Turn 15. We've got the Brothers Grimm, or two brothers from Caecilius' group that I didn't see before. To fight them, I must also discard two identical cards. However, Piercing Energy also gets through this fight restriction. Fight, you may KO the card from your discard pile. Now, I didn't get the four-cost card. Streets are not empty. Um, okay, even if I had fought the streets, then everything would have pushed anyway. Uh, so, let's play the one recruit. Patrol the streets. If it's empty, it's not empty. Two more recruit. I will play complete the Grand Ritual without doing the effect because I only played a two-cost card, not a four-cost card. But four attack is still pretty good. I get a fifth attack from the shield trooper, and I get two recruit from the shield agents. All right, so with five attack, I can fight for real this time almost anything. Um, dark memories, I have no, no discard pile on the left. But I can only fight one thing. The strongest thing I could fight is the Shadow Man here. For five. Give me two recruit. That could give me seven recruit, which isn't quite enough for a rare. But I can take a couple of cards, so I could save this for when a rare comes up that's not this Legion one. But for all I know, they could never come up for the rest of the game. By the way, this is the hero deck. There are 14 cards per hero, five heroes, so I may not see those rares at all. So let's go ahead and fight the Shadow Man before there's a Dark Portal where he is. Uh, five, five attack, you get plus two recruit for doing that. I'm at seven. What is the best one I could take? Probably the Cloak, because I can keep drawing cards this way. Let's go with the Cloak. I have three left. Oh, there is a rare. The first ancient one we see is a rare. This is that part of the movie that you know, you know what it is. All right, five plus attack, danger sense one. If this reveal the scheme, this is their, this is them in their astral form, with her last conversation with him. All right, five plus attack, danger sense one. If this reveal the scheme, twist to get plus three attack, and you you may shuffle the villain deck. That's great. I can avoid I can avoid the timer scheme, but I'm gonna have to get this somehow. I've gotten rid of a lot of recruit. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Anyway, uh, all I can take is uh, this cauldron, which is going to give me one recruit and a card draw. Enough of those that I can get the rare. Uh, I, I, so, I say that I'm never going to see the rares, and I see two rares. Isn't that always my luck? Why, <laughs> wind it back, you'll see. Alright, Crystal of Cadavis. Appreciate that. Yeah, by the way, uh, if you like this setup, this is my 20 something game in a long series of playing through all the MCU properties. If you type in uh, exclamation MCU, you'll see Off the Cuff, who was in this chat earlier, he designed every single one of these, and they've all been fantastic. If you go to my YouTube page, Command YouTube, uh, you can see all my playthroughs for everything up from Iron Man to now Doctor Strange, and we're going to keep going until we've covered everything, uh, which is, has been a lot of fun. Anyway, the Crystal of Cadavis is four attack, reveal the top three cards of your deck, draw one of them, discard one, and KO one. I'm going to want to take this where I have other Venomized Doctor Strange, so probably left-hand side if I can get this. And it does also a range. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Anyway, that's all I can do. I've exposed two rares after I said I wasn't going to see any. We'll see if I can generate the recruit for it. Alright, moving over. Bam. By the way, if you like the videos on the YouTube channel, I would always appreciate a subscribe. We're only a few away from 500 subs, in which case I might do something special. So if you like watching those there, I upload all the all the uh, replays plus uh, news when it comes out and other things. So check that out if you if you are interested. 
Okay, right hand, turn 16, there it is. Okay. So we have our third dark portal, and luckily it goes where nobody is, but that's probably not gonna last. Three more dark portals, and the, or three more scheme twists, and two more dark portals, and the game is over. Even wins on twist seven. But I have a decent hand here. Okay, so let's play this out, starting with Cauldron of the Cosmos, because I definitely have full victory pile. So we're gonna start with one recruit die just to draw a card. Actually, before I do that, you're a slow learner. This one, I probably wanna do this before I draw, because if it's zero cost, I could KO it and then draw the next card. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Same thing with our Baron Mordo slash Legion here. I could do Channel Fire to do the Urus Learner's Effect, or I could just straight up draw two cards. My discard pile has how many classes? I, oh, I have, a, I have a Legion there, so I should have Tech, Range, Strength, Covert. Wow, that's four. That's a dark, that's a proto dark memories. So I'm gonna take the Channel Fire side. You get plus one attack for each different hero class in your discard pile. There's four, um, unless I do a Recruit first, but I don't think I can. I have three rares in the, in the, H, in the HQ. That's fine. All right, let's start there. We've got you're a slow learner that I will play now, which is not sideways. Two more attack. Reveal the top card of your deck. It is a zero cost card. I will KO it. Uh, it doesn't say you may, so I must KO it, and I get one attack. Now maybe this card draw will be better. Uh, Calls of the Cosmos. One recruit. Digest two, which I do draw a card, and I draw another Legion Sweet. Another Baron Mordo. I gotta remember that that Dark Memories I have, that Great Dark Memories, affects anything that says Dark Memories, so I'll factor that in, in a second. We've got uh, Ben Steel and Ben Light. So no more card draws. Let me play the rest of my Graves first. I've got a Trooper and an Agent, so that's two Recruit, eight Attack. I'm gonna need to clear this city. Although I, and I can't hit the Hood because he is actually... You know what? I'm gonna do a Dark Memories die that affects anything with it. So I've got uh, four Dark Memories. Let's put it right here. So anything with Dark Memories is plus four. So the hood is 14, Cancer is 7, or 8, yeah. Okay, with that, I can get one more Recruit, which won't help me at all. Or I can get one more Attack and Berserk and maybe get a lot more. So let's go ahead and take that Ben Steel. So 9 Attack, top part of my deck will Berserk it. It has no Attack symbol, so nothing. So I end there with 9 Attack. I can't fight the Brothers Grimm because I don't have any more cards left to discard. So I could fight the Black Anti-Hurricane, or I could fight both of the things in the Dark Dimensions and the Dark Portals. Probably fighting the two things in the Dark Portals makes sense, even though this is going to push over. Can't quite hit the Mastermind. Oh, but he has Dark Memories, so hold on. Let me remind myself, he is at... Uh, seven. Plus, he's at 8 attack. Hmm, not a great time to hit him either. All this attacking, this is where it gets me. And I don't even have two cards with... I don't even have two identical cards, so I couldn't even discard for Brothers Grimm if I wanted to. So, they're out of the question. I could fight for six, I have three attack left. Or I could fight the Guardians and have five attack left. And Or I could fight Cancer and have one attack left. If I do fight the Guardians, I get to KO a hero, but I should probably take out the strongest thing while I can. So let's go ahead and fight uh, this. Plus, I get to swap cards. So I'm down to three attack. Fight. Each player simultaneously puts a card from their discard pile into the discard pile of the player on the right. So let's see. What do I want to give to the left-hand side? Not Legion. So I've got Agents. I'm probably going to do a, a safe one-for-one -one swap. i got Agents, Trooper, and Officer. Left-hand side has... Uh, Oh, actually, if I fought this, hold on. So there is a way I could fight two things. Follow me. If I gave the left side one of these Legion cards, Dark Memories would drop by two. Oh, but that would still only be two attack away from hitting them. And I'd lose Legion, so never mind. Left-hand side, let's just do what I said I was going to do. All right, we're going to swap an officer for an officer. Or should I give the right side an officer to get some of those rares hmm yeah here's what I'm gonna do since left side can KO the graves or discard the graves 
I'm going to give an officer to, officer to the right hand side. And I'm going to give an agent to the left hand side. So we'll see if that changes anything up. Uh, okay, the anti hurricane is gone. Uh, two recruit left. Time for the first new recruit of the game. Here it is. And that is it. Didn't get to do as much as I thought I was going to do. But when do you? Okay, that's uh, three attack. See if we get some more. I still have to hit the mastermind. And unfortunately, having a card that uses dark memories can't. Can it does cancel out. No, well. It kind of cancels out what you already would have gotten with Dark Memories, but it doesn't make it better. So I don't know how this is going to go. I might lose this game. And there could be a big channel points payout for the few people who said I was going to lose. Doesn't mean I'm giving up. Two, three, four. Wow. Turn 17 and another four and two. What are the odds? Here we go and there we go okay it's this is exactly the same as the very first turn of the game i had a four and two on the right hand side or was that where the master strike happened regardless another dark portal opens up i'm getting in trouble here because i can only afford one more before the last twist Whew. okay i really hope that uh, either i can get this moon dragon and uh, shuffle the deck if i one comes up or it's at the bottom Chances are it's just going to be a shuffle. So all we can do is a recruit. And we got C future timelines or C future timelines. So I will recruit the C future timelines on the right-hand side under the sewers. And that's all I can do. With two attack, I can't... Oh, actually, hold on. I could fight the Brothers Grimm. I could have fought the Brothers Grimm. You no, know, I would have done the recruit anyway because uh, there's two spaces. That's fine. I could have discarded two agents to fight the Brothers Grimm for two attack, but then I would have only wouldn't have gotten to recruit another one of those blue cards. So I'll stick with that decision. As if I had a choice because I did reveal the card. Okay. This is something. Next. Master Strike. Okay, that's definitely Dormammu. It's late enough in this thing. All right, each player reveals the top six cards of their deck, discards all the non-gray heroes revealed, and puts the rest back in any order. This is going to hurt a lot more than at the beginning of the game. So let's go. Top cards of the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay. Only two. These two get discarded, unfortunately for me. The rest go back on top. We'll put the new recruits on top. At least I get to draw a card that way. Um, left-hand side doesn't have a deck farther than one card so I have to shuffle in the discard which is a bummer because I have a lot of good stuff in my hand which won't get reshuffled in that quickly here we go one two three four five six ooh look at this I lose collision of the cosmos oh look look at this I lost a potential future hand with a two four and this with the grand ritual but all three are discarded that would have worked but never mind that, that really hurt me. At least the top is going to be um, Agent Trooper Trooper, so I can discard it. Ouch. Big time ouch. Okay. Let's go. By the way, because of that, the Dark Memories is stronger, of course. So, three classes for Dark Memories, which means... Uh, six for Cancer... And, well, let's do, let's do the Dark Memories counter like I did before. Three. Three Dark Memories. All right. Two attack. Four recruit. But somehow is not enough. We have options. Do I want to get one attack with Dark Memories? That'll give me three attack. Up to five. Six, seven. And then I can KO the top part of my deck. Oh! Actually... I want to set the top card of my deck up a little differently. So, because I got to look at it, I had put the new recruits on top. I actually want to put the agent on top so I can KO it. So they did get to look at him. Okay, so if I do that, and I go back to this, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack. 
which will let me clear... Uh, just, again, just one thing. So if I don't do that, I'll have five attack, which is still enough to hit the Conchu Guardians or the Brothers Grimm. And I can draw two cards. But I know the top cards are all gray. So I will take the Channel Fire. You get one attack for each different hero class. And, well, actually, should I recruit first? Okay, let's say I recruit. Trust me, I'm a doctor. That will be two more classes for Dark Memories. Yeah, I think I'm going to discard some officers. But I'm, I'm just trying to figure out uh, this mechanic. If I recruit, trust me, I'm a doctor. That's two more classes, which powers up everything with Dark Memories, but it also powers up Channel Fire. That doesn't really help me. These two are going to get offset. So I won't do that. Alright, let's channel fire. That is going to be three attack for me. Offsetting the dark memories. And, uh... Like Mr. Draft said, I could uh, discard the officers to hit the Brothers Grimm if I'm not going to recruit anything. I'm going to end up with 8 attack. I can hit the Brothers Grimm and the Guardians here in the streets. So let's do that. So I'm going to not have played the officers, which I can do because I didn't reveal anything new since I played them. We will play You're a Slow Learner now for 2 attack. Attack over the top part of your deck. We already know what it is. I already set it up. And it Cost zero, I KO it, and I get plus one attack. Okay. Now I'll discard the officers because the Brothers Grimm's fight effect is to fight the Brothers Grimm. You must also just discard two identical cards, which I have done. Down to six attack. You may KO a card from your discard pile. And uh, I will do that. It's going to have to be a shield officer if I want to. I don't have to. But if I don't, I don't have a good chance of getting one of these rares. So you know what? I'm going to keep him for now. And uh, I'll just get rid of the uh, Brothers Grimm. I want to get a rare. Uh, the Guardians are not in the Mirror Dimension. They do cost four to fight. But uh, I can fight them for four. And I KO okay, another hero. It's going to have to be a Trooper this time. And the Guardians are gone on the right. We did a little more cleaning house. Is it enough time? With all these grays, I got a not-so-great next couple of hands, so I don't know about that. Actually, this hand is good. The next one's not good because I had to mess it up. The next one would have been fantastic. Okay, here we go. Turn 19. Camistro enters. And Camistro once again, has a fight effect where you exchange cards, and he's got Dark memory. So, the Dark memory's counter on the left is Ranged Instinct. It's just two. So everybody with Dark Memories has plus two all around. Let's, uh, we get to control the streets this time. At least I know what it is. Although I know what it is, it's zero cost. So, although I know the next several are zero cost. This is fine. This is actually fine. Um, one recruit, control the streets of this empty draw card. I draw the first agent. That's okay. Now let's take care of the rest of the zero cost cards. Here. This is actually working out great. Two. Attack for the top part of the deck. If it costs zero, discard it, you get plus two. That's going to work uh, one more time because of the cards I revealed. Another C feature timelines. Top card of my deck is uh, two attack, and then it's another zero cost. So the hood kind of set this up for me. Discard it, I get plus two attack. I didn't think about that. That's great. And I can actually trigger ice magic. Let's do it. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. Oh, man. I could have gotten the attack equal to their VP, but it's a Master Strike, which is also bad, but I could have gotten extra attack. And I can't, can't even hit the Mastermind. That's rough. I finally triggered it, and uh, it's a Master Strike. 11 attack total, and I don't know why these are backwards. Ooh, 11. Other side of the die. So the Hood is plus 2, thanks to Dark Memory. So he's at a 12. I am 1 away again, thanks to the Wound. At least I can clear the city, which is, you know, something. So Cancer is also plus two. So he's at five, six for the Dark Portal. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, I can't clear the city. That's two. I'm one away. 
Well, I might as well fight Camistro before he has a chance to enter the Dark Portals. That, that hurts. I really wish I could hit the Mastermind this turn. Let's double check. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 1 VP from a Hentron would have done it. Oh, actually, Camistro... No, he won't help me. I can reduce Dark Memories again by swapping a card over. But that'll only reduce it by one. I'm going to go down to seven after hitting Camistro. Hanster would be a uh, five. Actually. Hold on. Can I still hit him? I'm going down to seven. He is six to hit. Oh, he has Dark Memories as well. He's going to cost six. A five left. He's uh, he is six right now. If I So if I do swap over... Let's say, complete the Grand Ritual. I'll have enough to hit Cancer, but then I'll lose complete the Grand Ritual, which works better over here, at least in theory, so it's not worth it. So let's do this. Let's fight him for six, thanks to Dark Memories. And the fight effect. Exchange a card you played this turn with a card in the HQ. Same or lower cost. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not the discard pile wouldn't work anyway. But uh, I wouldn't want to do it anyway. Um, so I could swap out Sweep the Streets of Trash for Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. I swap out Card Draw with uh, KO Power. Or I could swap Sea Future Timelines for Sea Future Timelines. It could be the same card. That's probably the safe way. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out these two. They're exactly the same. Um, and get rid of Commissioner for six. Five attack left, which doesn't do anything. Uh, one recruit, which doesn't do anything. Oh, I have two recruit, actually. So, should I take Trust Yama Doctor? Yeah, why not? Actually, there is a reason why not. Makes Dark Memories worse doesn't really help me at this stage. KO power, I have discard power, so... JK, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to take a new recruit. That's a little better right now. A little late for that. If it let me draw a card, that would be a different story. Okay, after getting rid of some of those grays, I got a couple of non-grays. And then after the reshuffle, it should be better, except I am going to have a Master Strike here. So, so much for the reshuffle. And here it is. Strike number three. Each player reveals the top six cards of their deck. Again, that's four. On the left hand, oh, I'm doing the left hand side first for some reason. And shuffling in my discard, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. And then top two, here we go. So the top six cards of my deck on the left hand side, I lose Sea Future Timelines and uh, Sweep the Streets. The rest go back on top. But once again, I'll set it up with uh, what do I want? I'm going to draw one card on the oh, left hand side, actually. Left hand side is going to have uh, the top card, which I can trigger. So I'm going to have one, two, three, three recruit. Oh, I got one, two, three attack, five attack. Um, I'll do agent followed by trooper. How about that? On top. Right hand side has got to do the same. Here, oh no, those are the three on top. Now I got to shuffle in my discard. No amount of deck fitting is going to help me if I keep doing this. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so non grays. Cauldron. Uh, Legion here and Dark. Okay, half my deck is discarded. Or half the top of my deck is discarded. And uh, am I going to do any draws this turn? I will do a draw this turn. So what do I want? I'll have. One, two, three, four, five, six attack. Hey, what is up? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Is that a new account or the same one? Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Will six attack help me where five attack can't? No. Well, with dark memories, actually, I've got uh, one, two, three, plus four for dark memories. So, eight. I need eight attack to hit, which I don't think I can even do. Piercing Energy will get right through, so I'm going to use Piercing Energy to hit him. 
which means I could just draw the officer and that'll give me three recruit which will be enough for another officer if I want it so or I could save the officer for next turn hmm I want to save the trooper for for next turn so I'm going to yeah officer on top followed by a trooper then agent okay Back to the 10 attack for the dark portal okay let's uh let's hit let's finally do something with piercing energy we're gonna take split eardrums we got two piercing energy right here which i can use to hit cancer get through all of the fight restrictions and hit him right now every single fight restriction is gotten through um no fight effect so it is just gone feels pretty good let's play the new recruits or I could save the new recruits. I mean, I don't need the attack, and I know the next card is an officer. Which will just get me um, another officer. I'm going to hold on to my new recruit. I'm going to end my turn there. Unfortunately, I did fight. I did attack a villain with piercing energy, not attack. And piercing energy counts as an attack, so I can't rest. I defeated a villain, actually. That's, that's the criteria. It's to, if you did, don't defeat any villains this turn. And I did, so I can't rest, but I will end my turn there. Three, four, five, six. Whoa, thank you for the tier one sub. Oh, the prime sub. Grey Warden, thank you. Appreciate it. That's sub 37 for the month. That's about halfway through. I think we're going to probably see a chaos stream next month. Which with uh, Messiah Complex is going to be something else. All right, as it stands, it's turn 21. Let me go ahead and count the uh, villain deck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Decent amount of cards left. However, two more twists and I loot. So we'll see if I can do this. If I Once I hit the mastermind once, maybe I can do that more. The city is empty except for all these dark portals. We've got four dark portals here. One, two, three, and four. Let's see who comes in. Or what comes in. It is another aspect of the Dark Dimension. Infinite Tendrils would have been a great one for Doctor Strange to steal the VP of. Wounded Fury. First time in the game. No wounds in my discard pile. So no plus one attack for this villain. Ambush. Infinite Tendrils captures a... Standard bystander. Somehow the Infinite Tendrils are the only villain that are not in a dark portal. Maybe they came out of one. Off screen to the right. So I must make a choice. I have to do one of these two. I know the next card is zero cost. So if I play C Future Timelines, I'll be I have a guaranteed discard and four attack from this, which will give me six attack total, because I have to play Cloak first. Seven attack. Which is overkill. I don't need seven attack. I just need four to fight the infinite tendrils. So because I don't need that, I might as well teleport the next card instead of discarding it. So let's play C Future Timelines first for two attack. We'll play the Cloak of Levitation second, activated, to actually uh, teleport this uh, shield agent. Five attack. All right, let's fight the Tendrils. No wounds, no Wounded Fury, um, and you are gone. That was a pretty easy fight, and a bystander for me. Followed by three recruit. I still don't want to take Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. Even though it does have KO power. Oh, I'm tempted. You know what? There are more great cards in my deck than I thought, so I think I am going to take Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. And because I recounted the villain deck, I have turns left enough. I have enough turns left to KO enough cards if I get that far. But that would have been a better recruit, but it wasn't there. Okay, that makes sense. I'm glad you finally were able to come by. I appreciate it. Four, five, six, plus the teleported card. Here's the setup in case you didn't see. It's uh, uploaded, but uh, this is Off the Cuff's best approximation of Doctor Strange before the movie, uh, for, before the um, expansion comes out. And I think it's pretty good. And I'm having fun with it. We got some big projects coming up as far as the MCU. I can't wait to play through the What If episode. There's one setup for each one, I believe. Okay, turn 22. Is this our final city, uh, Dark Portal in the city? No, it's another Guardians, who 
are in the dark dimension. Nope, the mirror dimension while they're in the sewers. One, two, three, four, five recruit, six recruit. Oh man, if I only had light show, I could have gotten a rare this turn. But I don't think I've seen another one with light show. Oh, that hurts. I've got two recruit, three, uh, four recruit, five recruit. I can get a total of six recruit this turn. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying those. I hope they are all listed in order and entertaining games. So I don't want either of these two uh, ranged cards. Those are for the left. So all this recruit does nothing. And as far as attack this turn, I can get one, two, three, four with Berserk. Maybe five if I'm lucky. So because I'm not going to do a recruit, I might as well go for the Berserk and see what I get. So let me take the Berserk. One attack and top card of my deck is... Oh, bummer. Not only do I not get to draw this next turn, but it has no attack, no printed attack. So no Berserk for me. So a dud of a turn. So I'll end up with two attack and two more attack. I'm at four. Well, do I take a sidekick or, or a new recruit or do I take an officer? I There's so many rares. I got to keep going with officers until I get something. So another officer for me. And uh, we're going to move on from there. I, I could take a new recruit as well. I have five recruits. So new recruit too. Cool, cool. And thank you, everybody. We have, uh, based on the numbers, a lot of you stuck around after that raid. So I appreciate you sticking around and enjoying the game. I stream three times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, nope, Thursdays and Saturdays at 2 p.m. Pacific, and then Tuesdays, like this evening, at 10 o'clock p.m. Pacific, and I hope to see you there. Don't be a stranger, say hello, love saying hi to everybody, and if you like Legendary in the chat, you can join the Discord for more discussion. We're, there's there's going to be a lot of discussion, I'm sure, tomorrow about Messiah Complex that I'm not going to look at until I do my unboxing. Decent. I got two of those. You're a slow learner. Let me hit the mastermind, please. This turn's not going to do it unless I draw something uh, miraculous. All right. Another Cancer shows up. He's got Dark Memories once again. Ambush. Each player has that has any cards in the discard pile, which is only the left side this time. Gains a wound. So wound for the left-hand side. So what is the Dark Memories counter here? By the way, I'm doing this wrong. The, he's in the Dark Portal, not the other way around. So the Dark Memories counter on the left is, it's going to be a lot. Ranged, uh, ranged, ranged, instinct, tech, three. It's three. So Cancer here is six to hit. The Mastermind is plus three. It's 13. Okay, let's see what I draw. Start with the Cauldron. One recruit. Draw a card for Digest 2. It's a trooper. That gives me three attack. Man, these master strikes really messed me up. Well, can't hit anything. I can recruit see future timelines, which I'm just gonna do. Recruit it. Or wait, hold on. Do I want to take ice magic instead? I have plenty of zero cost cards, and there's two more master strikes that could make that stronger. And I feel like there's still plenty of villains. Let me let me do a count. So I've got three. I got two villains here. Victory piles have, and there's 16 villains in here. I got one uh, plus the henchman. Let's not count the henchman. How many villains? One, two, three, four, five. Left hand victory pile. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. All right. That's not a lot left. There's only six more villains in the deck. Not going as well as I thought it would. Everything's crawling real slow. The Master Strikes are messing me up. So, I think see future, future timelines will still net me more attack. I got three rares in this HQ that I've gotten rid of so many recruit points that... Uh, Oh, and finally, the Ancient One shows up again. Which, again, I guess is appropriate. As a memory. Okay, a better hand next turn. Definitely. 
but there may not be too many next turns because once that seventh twist is played the game is over what do we got okay finally the dark dimension appears okay this is that part in where were they were they in they were in china i think i don't remember what part of china when the dark dimension opens and dormammu will come to bargain happens i think we're there even though i haven't hit the mastermind that many times as a location villains here get dark memories so what happens folks if there is a city space with a location in it and a scheme twist is played is there a dark portal in the dark dimension these are not locations so i assume they can coexist it's probably in the revelations rules or something all right the dark dimension villains here get dark memories villains who already have it get the bonus again fight take another turn after this one i gotta clear this this is really annoying the dark dimension opens up so cancer has double dark memories luckily double dark memories gets him nothing because i have no cards in my discard pile so let's see if i can take advantage of this let's start with drawing a card here actually no the top card is a I don't know what it is. I forget. All right. One recruit. Digest two. Draw a card. It is... Okay. It's an officer. So let's go with your slow learner. See if we, we have those zero costs on top. I think I still do. Uh, I need tech though. So only one of these will activate. The first one will just be two attack. The second one will activate. Two more attack. Top card of my deck is an agent. I KO it. So much for getting those rares. And I get one more attack. Trooper gives me a six total. The officer gives me two more recruit. And then once again, we have a choice to make. I could get seven total attack plus a berserk, or I can get four total recruit. Peaceful meditation would be nice to get, and I can already get it. So let's go with Ben Steel. One, one attack, and let's give me some attack, please. Yes, finally. All right, so I lose the Piercing Energy next turn, though, but I do get two more attack here, which is nine. Enough to hit the Dark Dimension. Which I will gladly do because... Um, ooh, I can take another turn after this one. So that Recruit increased uh, the Dark Memories to counter to two, which is fine. Um, so I will hit the Dark Dimension for 9. You can definitely hit the location while there's a villain there, unless it says otherwise. Um, we hit the Dark Dimension. It is gone. Take another turn after this one. Okay. Time Stone Magic. And 3 Recruit gets me Peaceful Meditation for more Recruit. Extra cards. Let's go. Finally, the Ancient One. So, right side takes another turn immediately which means all i'm going to do is increase the turn counter i forgot how to do that so i'm going to do this i gotta play time stone magic it's a it's a it's an overall turn counter now so it's actually just going to be right hand on turn 25 okay not a great hand for my second attempt okay bystander though goes to cancer here dark memories is green red black blue no yellow so it's at four so i do have another light show i just not drawing them together new recruits let's play it this time one attack and a card draw another one let's play it again one attack and a card draw one two three four five again the light show is hurting me Four recruit, I can get psionic warning. Danger sense two. This would be great to avoid those scheme twists. I can just keep if I can keep playing this, I can try to push him down as long as I can. I can't completely put him on the bottom though. But uh I will recruit psionic warning for four, which increases dark memories to five. Um I wasn't gonna hit anything anyway. So I got one more recruit. Let's see what comes in. Okay, another Doctor Strange with KO power. Two more attack, four, and then I've got either one attack, berserk, one recruit. I would need eight attack to hit cancer here. 
Um, oh, but I can hit these guardians. They don't have dark memories. So I can hit them now. Let's do it. Let's fight the guardians while they are not in the mirror dimension for four. Uh, fight effect, kill one of your heroes. Another agent. I need to I need to win this. I need to end this. All right. Guardians are gone. And then I have this uh, Legion card. Yeah. Uh, digest and indigestion are pretty good because you get to do something either way. Symbio symbiote bond is the really interesting one that you want to see. Okay. So I can either one attacker in Berserk, which won't let me hit anything, or I can get the one recruit, which will let me get a, a new recruit. So I'll take the one recruit side, get a new recruit, call it a day. All right, there, and a complete reshuffle. So no dark memories for the right-hand side next turn. After the right-hand side just took two turns, left hand's gotta do something good. Um, Into the Cosmos is also good. It's a little, it's very shard heavy. So if you like that aspect of Guardians of the Galaxy, you'll like this. A lot of them work well together. Remind me, which team are you on? Are you on Team Streets? Two, three, four, five, six. Cool, piercing energy. Wish I had more piercing energy. Ice magic, new recruits, cloak. Okay. Finally, I can do something. I hope they show up so you can get them. All right, infinite tendril shows up. So I got rid of the dark dimension. So this is going to move into the dark portal with one plus attack. And then we have the Tendrils showing up, which are the ones with Wounded Fury. Uh, Left-hand side, I think, does have a wound, unfortunately. So, oh, two wounds. Yeah. And captures a Bystander, which one standard. And they're going to get plus two for Wounded Fury, which is not good. The Dark Memories counter is something ridiculous. Which uh, is, I guess I have to count. We got blue, 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 blue. Maybe it's all blue. Nope. That instinct. Instinct and tech. Okay. Three. It's going to be three. So everybody with that is plus three. All right. Um, let's start with the uh, sweep the streets because I do get to draw and uh, I can trigger all the ranged effects this way. So one recruit. Streets are empty. I draw. All right. This is going to work. I have four and two this turn. Can I finally hit the mastermind? Okay, I have no deck. Everything's my discard. So once I do this, if I reshuffle, everybody loses Dark Memories, which is perfect. Even better. So let's play our new recruits. Draw a card. One attack. Shuffle in. My discard. And Dark Memories is gone. So now the Hood is only... Or Darmamu is only 10 attack. Cancer is only 4 attack. Infinite Tendrils are... Also lose their Wounded Fury. So they're at 4 attack. So I just need 10 to hit the Mastermind. I think I can get there. I can definitely get there. This is six attack right here. Finally, a good turn. And I get to draw from my new recruits. An agent. Okay. Let's, uh... I think I want to do the cloak first so I can reveal it. No, I should I should do, um... See future timelines first because there's a higher chance the first one is a... Zero cost, maybe. All right, two more attack. Top card of my deck is a zero card. Cool. I discard it and get plus two attack. Glad I did that. Now I will play the cloak, which is going to be two more attack. Seven. Top card of my deck. Draw it or teleport it. Okay, um, I will draw this so I can KO a card this turn. Let's use ice magic to attack. Okay, top card of the villain deck. Okay, not only is it a villain, but it's a strong villain. It's got four VP. So I'm going to draw from the power of the dark... Oh, that's perfect. Doctor Strange is drawing from the power of the dark dimension. I'm not going to fight it this turn, but I do get attack equal to its printed VP. So 13, v 13, uh, 13 total attack from the four plus VP. And Mordo's not going to like that, but I don't care. I'm Doctor Strange. Damn the cost. Okay, speaking of cost, four attack, 17... If you played a four cost card and a two cost card this turn, which I have done, you get plus two attack. 19. Ooh, I'm so close to hitting him twice, but not close enough. 
But uh, he's probably gonna mess with the dark memories when I hit him. But uh, yeah, no, no, no card draw effects anymore. Whatever. Let's go ahead and hit him for with no dark memories for ten. My attack left. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, what does he do? What is that word? Payin to Dormammu. So this is Kaecilius. It's a uh, Dormammu's follower. Each other player discards their deck. Rough. But guess what? Right side has no discard pile. So the whole deck goes to the discard pile. <laughs> which means once I draw a card, I have no discard pile anyway. So I'm going to avoid that next turn anyway. Which is good. Doesn't really hurt me. Perfect time to do that is when the right side does not have a discard pile. Or, or a deck, actually, I should say. Well, actually, no. It would have happened no matter what, but at least I have a card draw card. All right, with nine attack, I am one short from hitting the Mastermind again, which is too bad, but I can hit somebody else. No Dark Memories for Cancer here, so I can hit for four, five, six, seven, eight. I can clear the city. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to hit Cancer for four... Thanks to the Dark Portal. No fight effect on you, so it's gone. And I get a Bystander. And we're going to hit the Infinite Tendrils with no Wounded Fear anymore for four more. And get another Bystander. All right, once again, a clear city except for all these gosh darn portals. And uh, now I have some Recruit to play. Let's play our two Agents. Um, hold on. Two, three, four... Five. I can get five recruit this turn. It won't really do me much good. So let me put, play my agents. Two, three. I think I still want to take ice magic. I'll recruit ice magic for three. And all right. Calm before the storm. That's a range. That's another rare. I got four rares in the HQ that I can't get. All right. This would be great because I get to patrol every empty city space, and there's almost all of them. So I'll play this. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. I am going to go ahead and KO the shield trooper in my discard pile. Just to clear it up. I get one more recruit that way, which is going to give me another trust me, I'm a doctor. Now nah, I'm going to go with a new recruit instead. One is fine. Okay. The wound. So at least I'm not going to have a scheme twist next. I'm getting a little bit of buffer with that. And I got three legions. Three three Baron Mordos. The black anti-hurricane enters. Fight effect where I got to swap cards from discard piles. The one I thought was a different card earlier. So my discard pile is full. So I have a lot of dark memories. But let's go ahead and draw a card. So I change that. Digest 2. Draw a card. So I shuffle my discard pile in. I guess Dorma uh, Dormammu is counting on you not having any cards that draw cards. I draw. Officer. Okay. Let's play my new recruits. One more attack. One attack and a card draw again. A wound. Great. Okay. So, because I do not have a discard pile to speak of, I'm going to take the channel time side to draw two more cards. Here we go. One, two. Oh, can I get a rare this turn? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can get a rare, finally. All right, let's get ourselves a rare this turn. Hopefully it's not too late. Two officers. Three, five. I'm going to have to light show. So let's go ahead and take Ben Light. One recruit. And then I'll play the second Ben Light for a seventh recruit. And then I activate Light Show. That's a nine recruit. One more than one more than I needed. So let's see. What do I want to take? Do I want to take Milestone of Clashing Powers? Three attacks, soaring fight, top three cards of the hero deck. I mean, this is this is uh, the right character, but I don't like this effect as much. I got pretty much my option of almost any rare in the game right now. 
Uh, Lunar Dragon Form, 5 attack, team defense 1. This is the one that'll help me avoid losing. If it comes up. So I'm thinking Lunar Dragon Form. The Crystal, I don't think, is going to work so well over here because of uh, the fact that I don't have a lot of Venom symbols over here. And then we've got Calm Before the Storm, which is great for attack. Which would give me, almost always, at least 7, 8 attack. Which is almost enough to hit the Mastermind. Straight up. So... What do I do? Do I hope that the scheme twister at the bottom and I can avoid them instead of taking... Well, Lunar Dragon Form is 5 plus 1 Danger Sense. So this is going to be 5 attack plus maybe 6, 7, 8, maybe up to 10. But Lunar Dragon Form might be enough. 5 attack is half of Dormammu's regular attack, the Hood's regular attack. Plus a Danger Sense. If I get a villain, that's one more attack. Scheme twist give me 3. So I'm going to take Lunar Dragon Form. I need... And this is the more thin deck. I want to drag this out as long as possible. All right, and we got another Legion. Cool. Um, I play my Trooper for another attack, and I'll play which side of Legion? Um, I guess the two attack side. Neither one will do anything, because this is four victory points, and uh, both of them are strong enough to uh, not be affected. So I won't play this card at all. And I'll end there. All right, I got myself a rare. Let's hope it's not too late. So I can draw it in time. I'll draw it the next turn, maybe. Well, that's four turns away. These wounds are hurting me more than I thought. Turn 28! There it is! Okay. So I'm glad I took Moon Dragon because now I lose in the very next twist. No matter what I do, if I draw the twist and I can't avoid it with a Moon Dragon. It is it. So take a look. Twist number two to six. You put the dark portals in the city spaces. Now the city is full. There's one twist left. The only thing that's left next to e twist seven is evil winds. So let's see if I can take him down. Start with the cauldron. To digest two, draw a card. It's an agent. I should have left that there. Shoot. Let's see future timelines. Two more attack. Top card of my deck. Does not cost zero. Uh, no attack there, but I get to draw this and chain it. Maybe. Let's do the cloak. Uh, two more attack. Should I draw or teleport? I can take out the anti-black hurricane probably, so I'll draw it. Plus I can set up my next hand. Um, I'll play see future timelines again. This time hopefully it'll work. Top card of my deck. is not as... Oh, it's another one. Shoot. So I'm stuck at 6 attack, which isn't enough to hit anything. Ooh, that, that's too bad. Should have teleported it, but how was I to know? I got 4 recruit. I want that piercing energy on the, on the right side badly. And I don't want anything here. Okay, well I didn't fight, and I didn't recruit, so I could KO this wound. Kind of a waste of a turn this late in the game, but uh, not much else I can do. So let's go ahead and KO the wound. Move on. Oh, rough. This is rough. I should have invested in more KO power earlier, but I didn't see Trust Him a Doctor until much later, so not much I could have done about that. Okay. Scheme twist. Game's over. Okay, it's not. It's another Guardians. So let's just put these up here. They're out of the way that way. All right. Just got to remember, everything here gets plus one. These guys are in the mirror dimension, so they're at five anyway. Okay, I can Danger Sense 2 so I can avoid a twist for one turn, maybe. Okay, we'll start with Peaceful Meditation. Two Recruit. When you draw a new hand, the card is the end of this turn. If you didn't fight anything this turn, draw an extra card. Okay, uh, we'll play one You're a Slow Learner for two attack. The second You're a Slow Learner for two more attack. Top card of my deck is a three cost card, so I don't get to KO it. We'll play a Psionic Warning. Top two cards on my deck. Here we go. Danger Sense 2. Okay. No Scheme Twist, which is good. Bias Scanner I'll put on top. Um, and I get one attack for the Danger Sense. Six. 
8 attack. Okay. So, Peaceful Meditation will let me draw an extra card. However, I do have 8 attack. And Black Anti-Hurricane will let me swap cards around. I can fight it for 7. Anything I really want to swap? No, I don't want to give Lunar Dragon Form to the left because the left has a larger deck. I will fight the Anti-Hurricane, though. Um, but I don't have to. I could draw an extra card next turn with Peaceful Meditation. But I don't have a Scheme Twist coming, so I'll fight it. Um, two attack. We're just going to be, again, boring, and we're going to swap an Agent to the left with... The, ooh, I have an Officer. I think I want a one-for-one one swap. No, I'm gonna give an agent to the right and an officer to the left. Left side needs a left side needs a uh, rare if they can get it. Um, okay, uh, this is gone. And for two recruit, another new recruit for two recruit. Okay, one shuffle. Give me Moon Dragon so that once that. Um, Bystander and Villain are out, I can shuffle it away if that's a scheme twist. I'm gonna hold off the Dark Portal. H1's gotta help me. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Nope, didn't get it. But I do get a card draw, so that's another shot. Alright, thanks for sticking around. We are almost two hours into this stream and it is not looking great for the state of the game but this is a bias standard that I did reveal earlier so that's gonna go here so the guardians of a bias standard in the mirror dimension with a dark portal there's a lot going on in the space I hope I can follow up no activated effect so that's four attack that's not gonna do anything Two recruit that's not gonna do anything if I don't take anything and then uh, yeah this I'm gonna rest two turns in a row Sure. Rest. Getting rid of a wound is almost as good as recruiting a new recruit. Because, uh, you know, you get a card draw with the new recruits, but you could draw into that wound. Really cannot afford to be wasting turns. But maybe I get to draw with no wounds this time. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Left side is not doing the job that I thought it was going to do. Right, let me, uh... Yep, we're good. Sorry. My deck is falling over. Here we go, right-hand side. Ooh, I have enough for another rare. And this is going to be a villain, right? Another guardian. We're going to put them here. They're the same card. Um, otherwise they would enter there. And, uh, yep. These ones are just four attack. This plus the dark portal. Let's get another rare. Three, four, five, six. Well, first let's see if I can draw Moon Dragon because the next card could be a scheme twist. One more recruit. Um, draw a card. Nope. The bias standard does have to move. You're right. See, this is what I get for being lazy. Hold on. There you go. All right, he's all tucked in now. Jesus was not going to let that slide. Um, okay. So I have enough for the rare Calm Before the Storm, but it may not matter if the next card is a Scheme Twist, so I should probably draw some more cards to try and get that rare Moon Dragon. So let's play... And I have no Discord play anyway. So let's play Channel Time to draw two cards. Here we go. One, there it is. Two. All right, I was hoping for it, and I had another card draw anyway if I didn't get it. So, Lunar Dragon Form gives me five attack plus Danger Sense one. What is it? It's a Master Strike, which is probably the worst case scenario. So, not only doesn't get, it does not give me attack for Danger Sense one, but it does not a Scheme Twist to move with Danger Sense three. So, cruel trick game. No bonus attack for me. All right, let's play our new recruit. Um, one attack. That's hilarious. Draw a card. Cool. I have 
Two more attack if I want it. Seven, eight, nine. I have no discard pile, so I could hit Dormammu this turn if Ben Steele uh, Berserk's an attack card. So that's my one shot. Two Piercing Energy will take out both of these guys. So let me do the Berserk first. If it fails, I can just uh, Piercing Energy. So let's go. One more attack. Berserk, the top card. It is one attack. I think that's going to do it. Eight. Yep, that's going to do it. Too bad I lose that Danger Sense, though. But it was just Danger... Oh, yeah, I could have tucked a Scheme Twist with that, too. All right. And let's go ahead and... Uh... Wait a second. Oh, Berserk... Ah, Berserk powered up the hood. Now it's plus one for Dark Memories, so... Never mind. Um, yep, it's one for Dark Memories now. So the hood is... Uh, slash Dormammu with 11 to hit now. That's rough. If only it was two, it would offset it. But that's okay. So because of that... I'm going to take the two Piercing Energy instead. And with that two piercing energy, well, let's do this. Don't worry. I got two piercing energy over here. Seven recruit. Since I don't care about dark memories anymore, let's take a calm before the storm uh, to patrol the every, every empty city space. There's another one. Okay, not a lot of cards left in this deck. All right, two piercing energy is going to hit both these guardians for one piercing energy each. So we're going to do it. Rescuing the bystander. And KOing two things. Which is probably going to be the shield officers. Get over here. Alright. Two piercing energy. One each. First one is KO one of your heroes. Well, here. First one, KO one of your heroes. Same deal. Uh, I KO the shield officer. And get a bystander. The second one is going to do the same thing. KO this. Maria Hill. And uh, get rid of them. Okay, eight straight up attack left that I can't do anything with. And we got a Master Strike coming. That's really going to mess me up. This could be it. This could be it, folks. Especially with this hand. Yeah, I don't know if I can survive this. Master Strike. <laughs> okay, once again, top six cards of their deck. One, two, three, four, five, six on the left-hand side. I don't have a discard pile, so I would have avoided Dark Memories, but not anymore. One, two, three, four. Everything except for this one shield agent gets discarded. So the Dark Memories counter is uh, blue, 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 blue. This throw blue. Oh, but this one's also tech black, so it's two for what it's worth. And the right-hand side has one card in the deck. So I gotta shuffle in the discard, unfortunately. So I might lose my rares this way. Or I might make them come up earlier. We'll see how many I discard. Okay, shuffling up. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> yep, both the rares are here. Of course they are. So everything gets discarded. Um... The wound is not a not a non great hero, so the wound stays. Everything else goes. Everything else. Wound on top of my deck. I'm like it's like I'm fighting Mephisto right now. Well, that probably lost me the game. But I'm not like I'm gonna give up until, until the game stops me. Let's go! Patrol the streets. One recruit. Alright, if it's empty, which it is, draw a card. It's an agent. Cool. So that's three more recruit. I'm at four recruit. I've got two troopers and four attack from the Grand Ritual. I didn't play a four cost and two cost card. That's only going to give me four, five, six attack. Uh, in reverse, nothing to fight for six, unfortunately. Um, the Dark Memories counter is two, still. And uh, for four recruit... I mean, I could take Sonic Warning, but Danger Sense 2 is only going to go so far. I don't have that many uh, cards left. Yeah, what what the heck? No, you know what? I'd rather take it on the right. Nah, I'm still not gonna show up. I'll take it. I'll take the, I'll take uh, the ancient one's advice when I can. Here we go. 
This next one could any any of the next ones could be a twist. This could be it. I have no idea what the next card is. There's not a, not a lot of cards left. Here we go. Turn 33 is okay. It's just demon form. So this is Dormammu through the portal or one of his attacks. Fight feast if demon form feasts on a non-gray hero. Ga gain a hero from the HQ of that cost or less. Well, I could feast on a rare to get a rare. But that's being optimistic. But I'm going to ignore him. So, again, three attack, five attack, one recruit. I guess we'll berserk since I know the rares are in the discard pile. We're going to get one attack and berserk away this wound. Not a bad move. No extra attack, but the wound is out of the way. But I will have to shuffle it in anyway. And uh, one more recruit, so I can't do anything but uh, do a... Uh... Wait a second, I have one total recruit. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I've got. Six attack. Yep, that's it. Uh, nope, nothing. Nothing I can do. A lot of turns doing absolutely nothing does not help me win this game. Here's a hint. If you're playing Legendary or any deck builder, if you don't do anything during your turn, it's probably not going to help you win. You know, fun fact, just saying. Wow, I'm just noticing on Twitch we have 410 followers just as we cross the two-hour mark for this stream. Thank you all for everybody who's followed. Really helps get eyes on the channel as things move forward, more expansions come out. So I appreciate that. All right, I got a lot of good attack potential here if I survive to this turn, which I may not. Oh man, I'm on the edge of my seat, but this could be it. Here we go, turn 34. Still no scheme twist. I sw I'm sure that was gonna be it. Shadow man, fight, you get plus two recruit. So, once again, I'll move these up here. Demon form. I need some special uh, Dark Dimension cards, that would be nice. I think there's tokens that exist, or Dark Portal cards, I think there's tokens that exist. Okay, let's see what I can draw. New recruits, save me. Give me 10 attack plus, well I need more than 10 attack. A trooper. Ah, oh, these, these great cards. Well, I'm not going to trigger Ice Magic, so might as well play Ice Magic for two more attack. Then see future timelines. Two more attack. Top card of my deck is not a zero cost card, so nothing happens. These are not working out for me. One more attack is six, and four recruit is four recruit. I can fight the Shadow Man for two more recruit, which doesn't quite get me a rare, but I'll do it. Fight him for, uh, yep, six attack thanks to the portal. You get two recruit. I'm nothing else. I'm going to get a really good losing score if this was for a league. Because I lasted almost till the end. I got a lot of VP. No escapes. Yeah, let's go with the new recruits. Why not? At this point. Oh, man. This is brutal. I have so many cards that work so well together. It can do a lot, but it's just not happening. It just keeps not happening. Whatever it is, just not doing the thing. The the uh, recruit being recruit locked with the rares for a while definitely hurt me. Okay, this is a decent hand. Let's see. It might all end right here. Turn thirty-five. No, it's just Madame Mask. My goodness, how many cards left in the villain deck? There are. <laughs> there's four. More than the times I have to hit the hood. Actually, I have to hit him exactly four times. I got one tactic. But uh, I don't know about this, you guys. Ambush. Oh, I guess I get to guess. All right. I'm going to guess Master Stroke. I'm going to guess... Uh, no, Scheme Twist. I'm going to guess it's a twist. Because if I guess anything else and it is a twist, I have to play it. So I have to guess Twist. <laughs> if you catch my drift. All right. I guess Twist. Top card of the villain deck. It's not a twist. Oh, but now I have to play it. Shoot. Well, that sped things up. All right, well, the Guardians enter. Sped things up good. See, I could have guessed Villain, but if it was the twist, I would have lost right now. That's a terrible one to draw. 
Oh, but that's the ambush, so hold on. Um, demon form is here. Madame Mask is here on the bank, and then the Guardians are here. Okay, and she's got Dark Memories on top of that. Fun! Okay, piece of meditation. Two recruit, and I filled up a space, so less attack for the rare here. Let's see what I get. Uh, patrol every city space. Actually, I could use Piercing Energy first. I only have two Piercing Energy, though. This will give me five, six, seven attack. Eight, nine, ten. So I can get enough to hit the Mastermind. I have no discard pile for Dark Memories. I could take out the Guardians, which would... With Piercing Energy, that would give me one more attack. Uh, if that would be necessary for the Empty City Space. I do have to KO one of my heroes, though, if I fight the Guardians. And there's nobody I really want to KO. Maybe Powerful Meditation. Because I keep fighting stuff. Ah, what the heck. Let's do it. Alright, let's play... Uh, but that's also two straight up attack. Let me see. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um, five, six, seven, no classes, two cards drawn, eight, nine. But that I could berserk away something to power him up though. Okay, actually, change it all. Here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna channel time first. Let's draw two cards. One, two. All right. Um, we can Danger Sense. And I get to do the uh, Shard effect. I wish I had done this first before I... Uh, with the Ambush effect, but I couldn't. Alright. Less Danger Sense 2. Top two cards of the deck. There's only three left. The top two. Oh, wow. Guess what? It's not on there. So the Twist is the very last card in the Villain deck. That's amazing. But I still probably won't win. And I didn't reveal the Twist so I don't get a Shard. So, let's leave the Guardians on top. And the last card's got to be the Twist. So, you know what? I'm going to look at it just to make sure I didn't mess up because there's only one card left. And, yeah, it's a Twist on the bottom. All right. All right. Give me the maximum amount of turns possible, and I still am having trouble. Let's see what I can do this turn, though. All right. Danger Sense 1 gives you one more for revealing a villain. Oh, this is this is, this is going to be a close game, but not in the, not in the good way. Um, okay. So I'm gonna have to play the rare now. Seven total attack, plus two for the empty city spaces. I'm at nine. And because I don't want to berserk, let's play the trooper for a tenth attack. I have no discard pile, so let's go ahead and hit the mastermind again. Double check, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's correct. Tactic two, I got another tactic consider that oh there's actually a sticky label on it so let me peel that off from when I made I guess from when I made the dividers some a label piece got on to the hood which uh, you just have to ignore I can't get it off there it's on the right side you can see it all right demonic revelation each other player reveals their hand and discards an on gray hero oh man okay um, I'm gonna lose trust me I'm a doctor that's an easy choice um, I still have yeah that's the best option Unfortunately. Okay. I've got two piercing energy or two attack. I could get four attack guaranteed, and then I could berserk, or I can get light show. I can get three, four, five, six total recruit. I don't have that many turns left. I'm going to berserk so I can redraw my deck fast. Maybe in the last turn I can have no dark memories. So let's go. Let's berserk each one. One attack and berserk. A wound. Okay, wound gets berserk. Nothing happens. Okay, the second one I berserk again. It is an agent. So nothing happens. No dark memories for either of those. Two attack. Final one is either two attack, which will give me four, which will let me hit uh, nothing, or split eardrums, piercing energy, which will let me hit the guardians. Let's take the two piercing energy. I'm not going to use this attack. Two piercing energy gets through just these guys. And now I can KO a trooper. Goodbye. Uh, KO one of my heroes. Trooper is gone. And uh, so are the guardians. For two piercing energy. And we're going to go ahead and get a, uh, another legion here. Which will power up dark memories. But, like I said, I have 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All one has to do is draw a card and I'll be fine. All right, I recruit. Which I will have the chance. There's two cards as a strike. Uh, well, I have, I'll have one more turn on for each side. That's what I'm trying to say before the game is over. For what it's worth. Okay, so can I hit the Mastermind three times in two turns? I doubt it. Especially with a Master Strike coming up. Actually, the Master Strike doesn't matter. Because I don't have enough turns left for it to matter. That's... Oop. Okay. Interesting. This will give me extra bonus for that being a Scheme Twist. So maybe it's possible. Maybe not, though. All right. Third to last card of the villain deck is a Guardian. Which, again, there in the Mirror Dimension. This is closer than I thought. Let's do a C Future Timelines first. Let's do another C Future Timelines. Two more. Top card is... Oh, it is a new recruit. It doesn't cost zero. So I don't get the attack, but that's okay, because I will draw it. That's on my last turn. I play the Cloak of Levitation. Six attack. I'm at nine attack. So one more... Oh, I know I have a, I have a card in my discard pile. So I draw the new recruits. This has got to draw something good. I play the new recruits for one more attack, and I draw a trooper. Good, but not enough. Not enough. And because Ice Magic is not going to be a villain, it's going to be a Master Strike. Thanks to this trust me, I'm a doctor in my discard pile, I can't hit the Mastermind. Shoot. All right. Yep, top card of the villain deck is the Master Strike, uh, which doesn't give, give me anything. And I have 10 attack, but thanks to this guy in the discard pile... Can't hit the Mastermind. He's at 11. And that really hurts. Ah, that's rough. If only this was a Trooper. This is Fight Thief. This is Fight KO. This is Fight KO. Um. Yeah, I can't fight the Mastermind. So with Dark Memory, this is a dual class, by the way, anyway. So I was two away. Pretty the mask from dark, hitting Dormammu. So five, six, seven, eight to hit. Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and hit uh, the Meta Mask slash Hycelius follower for five, plus two for Dark Memories, plus one for the portal. That's eight. And uh, fight K1 of your heroes. I will KO this agent that uh, really messed me up by just existing. And left will not have any more turns. It's up to the right-hand side to try to hit the Mastermind three times, which I don't think is going to happen. But I do have a rare, and a card draw, and a danger sense with a scheme twist. If only I could play this multiple- if I could play a copy of this anyway. Final Master Strike. It's going to do a thing that's not going to matter. Each player reveals the top six cards of their deck, discards all the non-gray heroes, and puts the rest back. It actually will affect me right, right here for the card draw. It's going to really hurt my card draw. So, yeah, I didn't think about that. But I can use, use a, you're a slow learner. So let's see what happens. Top six cards on the right-hand side are as follows. One, two, three, four. I hope they're all non-grays so I can draw more non-grays. One, two, three, four, five. One is. Okay, okay. So I discard everything. Oh, that means the hood's going to be super strong now. Well. Oh, well. Okay, yeah, that might be curtains for me. Left hand side, just for the record. Top six is, uh. Agent goes back. These two agents go back. Not as bad on the left hand side, but still. Man, those Master Strikes hit at the worst times every single time. Let's do a Lunar Dragon form. Let's see what we can get. By the way, the Dark Memories counter is. Forget, yep, I forgot the time stone. It's not here. It's in the box. All right, we got we got yellow, green, red, <laughs> black, blue. Every single color. So Dark Memories is five. So he's 15 to hit. And that makes me so happy. All right, five attack, Danger Sense one. The final card in the villain deck is the Scheme Twist. I get three attack. Let's shuffle the villain deck. I did it. Best shuffle ever. Okay. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not passive aggressive. All right, two more attack. Uh, don't trigger this. I do the second one. Two more attack up to 12. Uh, top part of my deck. If it costs zero, I KO it. Oh, I can hit him once. I get one attack. 13. Two troopers is 15. All right. Well, I'm going to go out strong. I'm going to hit him one more time. 10 plus 5. I'm going to go ahead and hit him for 15. And as many tactics as, <laughs> as many tactics as I could... Focus magic through guns, or focus magic through magic. Each other player reveals a covert hero or discards a card. Um, oh no, I have to discard a card. I discard the agent. That doesn't matter. Then reveal a tech to avoid a wound. I do. I got a tactic. And I end my game by drawing one card. Oh, it's Legion. Slash Dormammu. Oh yeah, Dormammu shows up right at the end and he warns me the bill has come due and uh, I should have known. So let's Berserk, just for fun. It couldn't possibly make Dark Memories any worse. It is Woot. Let's end up with one attack. And that is my turn. There is nothing else I can do. So with that, I have my hand. We play the very last card of the villain deck, which is... Scheme twist number seven. I've played the maximum turns. Couldn't quite do it. And evil wins. I don't quite recall the movie going that way. This was a rough game. I had all the pieces I needed. Just those master strikes hit me at the... I had no problem keeping the city clear. Um, it was the Master Strikes, and it was all the rares in the HQ. I probably could have done a little bit of a better job at focusing on Recruit, but these Trust Me, I'm a Doctors didn't show up until later. Yeah, this was just a rough, rough RNG, I think. And I'll, I'll give myself, you know, uh, I'll, I'll critique myself when I, when, I, when I don't do that well. And I think I, I, I have done that, but there was a lot of rough, <laughs> rough draws in this one. But... If this was a league game, it would have gotten a very, very high-scoring loss. Because look, left-hand victory pile, right-hand victory pile. I got all but one tactic, the alternate ending. I got all but one tactic, and I lasted the maximum number of turns for the league. Uh, the more turns, the better if you've lost. But uh, this is going to have to be tacked onto the list of games i got to try again. And it's perfect because uh, I'll try it. You know what? I'll have to try this setup again, and I'll have to try the updated setup as well. Thank you guys for being here on a Tuesday night. I really appreciate it. These aren't half as fun without you guys. Tomorrow is a big day, so I'm going to get some rest in a second. Um, <laughs> I don't have the time stone, but yeah, if I did, I would. I would just do it over and over. Yeah, but I would I would maybe consider playing this again, but because tomorrow I got to get up and go get the game and do a whole lot, I'm going to do a video and a stream. I'm going to call it now. We'll go raid somebody, uh, pay it forward. Thank you, everybody who came here in the raid. <laughs> So who's gonna? I have the sound effect under the uh, the premium sounds. I think I have that one. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna play it. I think if I have it. But uh, big day tomorrow. I hope you guys can come by. I have to do this thing. There we go. I don't want to hear double stream. Don't show me double stream. And yeah, we're gonna go raid somebody. Thank you everybody who came by in the raid. If you didn't follow, I would really appreciate a follow and or a Twitch subscribe or a YouTube subscribe. That won't cost you anything. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'll hand out the points. Don't worry, I, this is important. This is very important business. Uh, where is it? You got it, here we go. Uh, play. Dormammu. Okay. I've come to bargain. Yeah, as far as points goes, guess what? Two people said lose and there were only four 4% of the points were there, so it's going to be a big... Oh, that, well, here we go. It was a loss. There are 9,972 channel points going out. Anybody who said lose. So I'm sorry to anybody who lost points who had confidence in me. I'll clean this up later. I'm excited to play Messiah Complex tomorrow. It's going to be good. Who's on playing board games right now while I wait? Um... Ooh, uh, Vault Games Live is playing Marvel Champions, so we're going to go over there. And uh, sweet, I will see you guys tomorrow for some Messiah Complex fun. Let's go do a raid. Let's put as many bagels in chat as we can. I will see you then.
Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. All right. Take care, everybody.